good evening or I wouldn't even say good evening. Um, hey everybody. This your girl coming through here live in the fed. Um, some of y'all know me as Golden Wisdom, some of y'all know me as Tiffany. Tonight I um I don't know how to really address this topic. But I know that this topic needs a lot of attention for multiple reasons. So, let me go ahead and pull up this information online. Okay? So, there's a video circulating around on Facebook where a guy from Baltimore kills his wife or his ex-wife and his girlfriend and his ex-girlfriend. So uh Matt, I'm pulling it up right now as I'm talking. Okay. The thing is he, he made this video. He went live. He went live and um explaining what was going on. So I have the article here and I want to show you guys this article. All right. Okay, so if you guys can see the article. The article says um it's from WBAL TV, which is Baltimore TV. Okay, that's the news, local news. It says police Man kills girlfriend in Baltimore, kills ex-wife in Columbia, murder suicide. All right, so um, I'm gonna play this video real fast, okay? Remember the beauty of being together. Remember Hold the on. Com commercial advertisement. You know how that goes. Hold on, hold up, hold up. How they found out was through a social media video. In it, the suspect details how he killed his girlfriend inside a Federal Hill home and how he planned to kill his ex-wife in, in a Howard County home. By the time police saw two mm -hmm. shootings are connected and how they found out was through a social media video. In it, the suspect details how he killed his girlfriend inside a Federal Hill home and how he planned to kill his ex-wife in, in a Howard County home. By the time police saw the video and got to that Howard County home, it was already too late. This Facebook video posted by the alleged suspect shows him talking to his phone, explaining the events surrounding the crime. The suspect making claims about his ex-wife in the video and how he killed his girlfriend just minutes before. A violent dispute neighbors gathering outside in Federal Hill say is uncommon. We're just in complete shock. I mean, this is a safe neighborhood and we feel so comfortable walking outside and we're just... We just have no words. Police say they found the 41-year-old girlfriend inside this home along the 1500 block of Marshall Street just after 1.30. The back door to the home kicked in with signs of forced entry. Just after 2, police say the suspect then headed to Howard County with plans of killing his ex-wife and then himself. Howard County police were notified by Baltimore police that there was a post on social media that indicated the suspect's intention to come to Howard County. But of course, by then, uh, both of both the victim and the suspect were already deceased. Howard County and Baltimore police looking into both scenes this afternoon, searching for a motive and any past history explaining the deadly crime. They certainly wasn't on our radar currently for any reason. And police say they are working on identifying the next of kin before they publicly release the IDs of these people involved in the case. Police Commissioner Michael Harrison and Mayor Brandon Scott were at the Federal Hill scene today. They both condemned what happened and said disputes like these should never end in violence. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. So, first and foremost, my condolences go out to those two victims. 
and to the gentleman himself. Um, we have to understand something. A lot of times when we was growing up, we used to say sticks and stones don't break my bones. Wait a minute, sticks and stones breaks my bones, but words never hurt. And that's not true. Because obviously, in this case, the man was crying for help. Okay? And he was saying that he was triggered by his ex-wife and his ex-girlfriend. So the ex-girlfriend was pregnant. And the ex-wife would not allow him to see his children. And she was pretty much belittling him, tearing him down. And the ex-girlfriend said the same thing. So he was going through a custody battle. Uh, as I was watching the video, he was mentioning where he didn't really have any family. And his kids was all that he got. So when I looked at this video, I see that a man who really wanted to be around his own children who wanted to have a relationship, but because of what was going on between him and the mother of his kids, it was bringing about interference. I want to say this, especially to the ladies. Y'all think that you can say things to these men and that they're not supposed to respond. I'm going to say to you ladies out there that's Keeping these kids from their fathers because you're trying to get back at him and you're trying to destroy him. But guess what? You end up destroying yourself. You end up destroying yourself in the long run. And then another thing, certain things should not just be on social media. Okay? Unless you're looking for a solution to your problem, then that's different. But otherwise, you don't put things on social media. There was a question that I asked. I said, if uh, in, if couples having a bad relationship, right, would you put it on social media? Is there a way to deal with things without publicly bashing the individual or putting things on social media about them? If you have a bad relationship, if you're going through a turmoil, would you bash them on Facebook? Can it be done in private? Does everybody have to know what was going on in your marriage? Unless that person was abusive to you. That's different, but does everybody need no detail why you're breaking up? Do you have to go around shaming a person, attacking them? I mean, this is what we have to understand as women. I know that we get so caught up in our feelings, in our emotions about things, that we want to send all type of negative messages just to get back at the individual. But at the end of the day, you don't realize that you're triggering them. And when you trigger somebody, it comes back to you. Now, I'm not saying that what he did was right. By no means, I'm not condoning the violence that took place. Because it could have been done differently. It could have been taken care of. But I'm just showing you, I'm just showing what happens when a person becomes triggered. And this is the type of response that you get. And as black people, we got to do better. As black men, you got to do better. Black women, we got to do better. But I'm talking to black women because this is a very common behavior that I see amongst black women than I do with men when it comes to the children. You don't turn your kids against the other parent because, or you don't use your children as weapons against the other parents because you angry at that parent about what was going on in your marriage, what was going on in your relationship. You don't use your kids as a weapon. Because that's the worst that you could ever do. You causing a serious damage. You know, you tell these men they can't see their children. You don't want them to have anything with your have anything to do with your kids. Or you threaten to abort their child. 
the child that you're carrying because you're mad at them. Like you, you can't just do stuff like that and don't expect that this person don't have an anger. That you expect that they remain calm and collecting that they don't say anything. And that's not how it works. See, everybody don't operate the same way. Everybody don't carry the same traits. Okay? Some people will attack you without even thinking twice. You can't do that with every man. Or you can't do that with every person, period. You can't. Um, Just like you can't go around putting your hands on people. Or putting your hands on these dudes out here and think these dudes ain't going to fight back. Like, these dudes will fight back. These dudes will snap on you. Everybody's not going to tolerate you putting your hands on them. Because you think because you a female, you can get away with doing what you want to do. And nothing's going to happen. And you're going to get a pass. That's not how it works all the time. Certain men will let you slide, but certain men will just snap on you. They will fuck you up. So what I mean that we all got to do some internal cleansing. We all got to look at ourselves in the mirror and do some form of reflection. You know, this man should not have to come on Facebook and talk about his problem going on with his ex-wife and the custody battle. And his ex-girlfriend on top of that. He shouldn't have to do that. There was a way that this situation could have been disputed without any form of violence. But it got to that point because of the fact that he was triggered. Now, y'all might think, oh, you is you make an excuse for this man. You excusing his behavior, this and other. No, I'm not. But you have to understand, people can be triggered. And they already going through enough shit. And you adding more problems to the situation. So it was already bad enough that he was going through problems with his ex-wife and the custody. Then the ex-girlfriend comes along and makes the same threat to him. That's added on to the problem. Now he's just, he's frustrated. He's angry. He's out of, he can't even control himself at this point. He said, fuck it. I'm just going to let loose. I don't give a damn. They can catch it. Both of them going to catch this shit. And I refuse to go to prison. So I'm going to turn on myself after I get done with these two. I mean. (sighs) It's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking to see him going through what he's dealing with as a man. And it's heartbreaking that these two women lost their lives. You know, everything ain't fun and games. Like, don't just do stuff in front of you. Don't bring your kids to the picture as a way to weaponize the other parent because again you damaging yourself when you do that and i ain't seen it happen in person i ain't seen it happen with people that i know that has that have done these things good thing nothing happened to them but still why you want to trigger somebody to that point why you want to weaponize your kids i mean what do you get out of it And then you want to know why some of these boys grow up and be mad at their mamas. They get mad at their mama because mama is causing the damage. Then you want to know why these little girls get mad with their mom. You causing that damage. Don't do your kids like that. That's not fair. It's already bad enough that you got kids growing up in a single parent household because mama done mess around with multiple men or she done had a one night stand or she done mess with somebody else's husband and the child now got to suffer without a father. 
because daddy don't want to come around because he ain't trying to leave his family or because daddy don't have no attachment to mama or mama don't even know which one of the men is the father of her children. That's already enough damage as it is. So why create more problems? Like, try to bring better solution. At this point, when you become a parent, that's when you got to start learning how to be better. You have to develop a better character. You have to become a better person. You have to become a better person and realize that it's not just about you. It's about your children. Your children got a future. When you took on that responsibility or when you made that choice as a parent, you took on that responsibility to be one. It's in your hands. You got to set the example. If you don't set the example, then... Don't be surprised at how your kids look at you. Don't be surprised that your kids don't respect you. And I'm not, in, th in this case, I'm talking both sides. Don't be surprised. Because children go by what you do and not what you say. Again, children go by what you do and not what you say. Now, I feel bad for the kids because they don't have their mother or their father. And then the unborn child is gone. Sometimes you got to learn how to avoid certain situations. You got to learn how to work things out. You got to learn how to be better. Certain things... It's just not necessary. Certain things don't need to be broadcast on social media. Certain things do not need to be broadcast to the public. If you're not seeking help, if you're not getting some type of therapy for your problems, then don't just put it out there to belittle someone else because all you're doing, you creating more damage. You're damaging yourself and you're damaging the other person. And you don't know what type of predicament you don't put yourself in. Anyways, um, that's all I got to say on this late night tip. I felt the need to speak on this because um, it's too common. And somebody better break the cycle because if you don't, it's going to continue to create more problems. And this is one of the things that create dichotomy between black men and women is when the children is involved in the picture. That's the main thing that will create a dichotomy. That's the main thing that will create constant chaos. This whole gender war when the kids are involved and it shouldn't have to be that way. It shouldn't. All right, so anyways, y'all, this is all I got to say tonight. But uh, thank you guys for watching, tuning in. With that being said, take it easy on yourselves, and I will reconnect with you guys later. Go ahead and share this video, and make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is Tiffany French. And until then, peace and power and elevation. This your girl, Tip. I'm logging off, all right? Thank you.